According to Standard Bank Communications Manager Isaac Hamata, assisting in education remains one of the bank's strategic social responsibility pillars. We have realized that uh, the COVID pandemic has really created a big problem for many of us. Some of our parents have lost their jobs and as a result they can't even put food on the table, let alone buy a pen. It sounds very little. For somebody a pen costs one dollar, but there's a parent who cannot afford that one dollar. So we said, uh, let us join, let's unite, and let us see what difference we can make in the community. The co-founder of the Let's Unite project, Castro Nainda, popularly known as DJ Castro, pointed out that the mission of the project is to plow back into the community, and one area that needs serious attention is education. The mission is always to give back to the community, which is by giving back uh, stationaries, and uh, we've also don donated um, blankets. Yeah, we've donated blankets, and uh, I am honored that uh, we have joined partners with the Standard Bank. It's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's not just me alone. It's also for the kids. It's you know when you put a smile on on a, on a person who can't afford something and uh, who who is eager to 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 have you know to take this education forward, but then they can't. And this is where we, the Let's Unite and the Standard Bank, came through, and I'm really honored. The school's principal says the donation has came at the right time, considering the shortages of the stationaries at the school. These um, things we received today just came at the right time, because we were looking at the stationaries that were brought from home, and as the school we were thinking of um, adding, because there was really a need for it. So it really comes at the right time. And I also read what is written on the bag. It says, my future's in the bag. The project has a budget of close to $200,000 and is said to benefit most schools in all 14 regions. Garia Kawari, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.